Okay, everyone, thanks for tuning in to the second part of this series about the specification tracker. Um, you've already, by now, you've already seen the uh, specification tracker language functions tutorial, and this one is the language control tutorial. Uh, in other words, language control means uh, basically our, our grammar. Um, and similar to how the last one was, this one is also color coded. Color -coded. Uh, EC1 is red, EC2 is blue, EC3 is green, and EC4 is yellow. Um, <clears throat> now you'll see here that we have um, just a couple of uh, grammars that we are including in the uh, topic portion of uh, EC1 and then also the um, uh, over here you have the mastery portion um, so uh, you can see from there that we have uh, just basic word order simple present ta time and present progressive and so on and so forth okay so again to tre treat these equally um, what we're saying is at least we need to have these p appear eight times or at least one time uh, per passage uh, for each topic. And so here is the required number that we need. And then here, um, again, we haven't, I just created this, so we haven't filled any in, but if I wrote a passage, I would say, okay, I've got basic word order in there one time, and then that shows the actual number that we have and the number needed. Um, and then I could say, well, okay, I included uh, present time and present progressive twice and so on and so forth okay so that's how that works it's pretty simple before you write your lesson again come to this and consult this um, to make sure that you are including the necessary grammar for each uh, language task uh, um, that we have for for each topic okay uh, and then if you are writing mastery level uh, passages you'll do the same thing over here okay and then again similar to what we talked about before um, the first eight passages in the topic practice for EC1 are at the EC1 level the final two passages are at the advanced level which is EC2 level and you'll see here that they have different vocabulary or I'm sorry different grammar at this level um, so similar to what you would do here we would make sure that for these passages, we at least have basic time clauses, two times, so on and so forth. Uh, okay, that concludes this tutorial. And uh, when we meet, if you have any questions, please let me know. But again, make sure that you consult this and identify the grammar that you need to include uh, in your lessons before you begin to write. Okay, thank you very much.